if we want to write music, we have to, uh, of course, we use primarily triads. Why? Because triads are stable chords. If we use seventh chords, they are instable chords, but triads are stable. Now, if we are in a four-part texture, like in part writing, and four-part writing, an SATB style, soprano, alto, tenor, bass, then we have to double one of the notes. The question is, which note do we double? Uh, and it depends on what kind of triad we are using. So let's say we're in C major, and we just want to play a progression of primary triads. Primary triads are the tonic, the subdominant, Roman four, the dominant, Roman five, and that's it, and one again. Uh, one, four, and five are primary triads, and they are most restrictive in terms of doubling. Why? Because primary triads, uh, we want to hear them in its in its purer form. Now, uh, in another video on sound versus rules, I explained that if we put a triad in first inversion, it weakens the harmonic appearance of the chord. Now, if we take a triad and we double the third and put it in first inversion, it weakens the harmonic appearance even more. We want to emphasize the root of the chord, so it's better to double the root. So in fact, we should not double the third in primary triads. It is the least um, a common a, a kind of doubling in primary triads. We try to avoid it because it weakens the harmonic appearance of a chord. Let's hear it, how it is with doubling the root and doubling the third. Or even if we remain in root position, Doubling the root, doubling the third. It weakens the harmonic appearance of the chord and that's why we avoid it. We avoid doubling the third in primary triads. So in Roman 1 and Roman 4 and in Roman 5, we don't double the third. In fact, in Roman 5, the third of the chord is the leading tone and we never want to double the leading tone because if we wanted to, if we were to do it and we want to resolve it, then we would create parallel octaves. On parallels, there is a separate video. Uh, so uh, not in a, in, in a dominant chord and not in a subdominant chord, not in a tonic chord, we don't double the third. In fact, we double the root or we double the fifth, so we can double the root. Or we can double the fifth. Both sound quite stable. Even in a first inversion triad, um, we double the fifth. Or the root. Uh, if we are in a, if we have a diminished triad, uh, there's a separate video on uh, sound versus rules, um, the use of the diminished triad. Uh, I explained that we normally use it in first inversion, not in root position, not in second inversion, because in root position and in, in second inversion, that chord is very dissonant. Um, so people during the Baroque period and the Classical period wanted to hear uh, a less dissonant sound. The first inversion, diminished triad, is less dissonant. Now, if we were to double the root of the chord, or the fifth of the chord, then it would emphasize the tritone that is part of this chord, and it would make it more dissonant, like this. Or... So... It is preferred to double the third of the chord, which is the lowest note, because we uh, we use the chord in first inversion. So.
so we double the third in diminished triads. Not the root and not the fifth. In diminished triads, we double the third. Um, and um, one more rule that is commonly taught is for second inversion triads. If we use them, and there is a separate video on how to use second inversion triads, um, but very often we recommend doubling the bass note in second inversion triads. Now, if we have this root position in second inversion, this C major triad has the G. If we were to double it, if we double the bass note, it sounds like this. Now, in the other video, I explained that um, second inversion triads have essentially lost its harmonic function. Uh, and so if we double that bass note, it, it doesn't really uh, do much, it doesn't destroy anymore the harmonic function because it has already lost its harmonic function. Nevertheless, you can sometimes see um, that, uh, see doubling the root in second version triads, but it's not as common. So most common double the bass note in second version triads, which means double the fifth in second version triads. So generally speaking, the preferred note for most chords to double uh, is the root or the fifth, never double the third in primary triads, which is one, four, and five, Roman one, Roman four, Roman five, and in diminished triads, usually double the third. And one more thing, if we are in C major, the Roman six is a minor triad, uh, and if we approach Roman six with a second uh, with uh, with a dominant in a deceptive progression, then it is easy to create parallels. So for that reason, it might be better, first of all, to go in contrary motion. That means the right hand or all the upper parts go in contrary motion to the bass. Um, or it is preferable to double the third in that uh, A minor triad in the Roman six chord. So double the third in Roman six, especially when coming from Roman five in the deceptive progression. Uh, uh, or at, at least go in contrary motion, uh, the upper voices go in contrary motion to the bass note.